Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to remove the battery from your lawnmower safely. Um, so the first thing you're want, going to want to do is uh, get some protective gear like some gloves and some safety glasses. And before you even go and buy a new battery, you are going to want to take out your old battery because when you go to the auto parts store, they're going to charge you a, a core charge until you return your old battery. So you're going to want to bring it with you. Um, but first things first, um, always very, very much respect the hot wire. So the hot wire is the um, plus side on the battery. And uh, of course, if there's any way that you were to connect the hot wire to any piece of metal on the lawnmower, you're going to create some sparks. Um, you're going to create a short, which could make your wrench really hot. And worst case scenario, you could... Um, blow your battery up which would be really really bad so to try to uh, alleviate some of those problems what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the ground side off first so that we incomplete the circuit so this is all grounded so if I were to bump my wrench it's really not that big of a deal on the, the negative side or the minus terminal um, but in this case I just need a couple of three eighths or actually yeah, seven sixteenths inch wrenches so we'll just um, pop that off and the reason I'm wearing gloves really is just because when dealing with electricity it's nice to have some layer of insulation between you and the uh, the parts but this isn't that crazy of a job so just try not to drop any of your your hardware here and what I'm gonna do is just get this negative terminal terminal as far away from uh, the actual terminal side on the battery so it's not making any contact and then what we can do is we can pop the uh, the positive side off because if I bump a piece of metal now it's not going to complete the circuit because we've disconnected this Okay, and we are fully disconnected. And again, I'm gonna keep an eye on my terminals and I'll just pull the battery out. And when you look at these batteries, um, you'll note some numbers on the top. So this one says U1-3 and it says 425. So the U1 indicates the size of the battery. So when you go into the auto zone or the advanced auto, just give them your old battery and um, they'll give you a new one of the same size and they'll take your old battery for the core. But if you don't have a lot of um, cranking amps, so I have a 425 cranking amps, which is about as high as it goes. Um, but let's say you have a smaller one. I honestly recommend buying one size bigger if you can, because hopefully what that'll do is extend the life of that battery a little bit. So when it starts to get weak, it's still powerful enough to crank that mower over. All right, so now we've got our new battery in and just always keep an eye on the battery. There's a little molded plus and a little molded minus. Uh, so you don't want to mix those up because you could really cause some electrical problems in your, uh, your lawnmower by doing that. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to do the very opposite of what I did last time. So I'm basically doing it in the reverse order. And in my case, my terminals are very clean, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, but if your terminals are dirty, take this opportunity to clean them up, you know, wipe them up with some sandpaper or, uh, or a scouring pad. Just make sure that that metal is nice and shiny to get a nice good contact. Uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to throw some dielectric grease on it just to try to uh, help fight against any sort of um, corrosion that could occur. So I'm just going to wipe that on my little terminal lens here. Again, just don't let those touch anything um, or touch the uh, battery terminals until you're ready to let them do that. All right, so we'll put our gloves back on and Again, we're just putting this together in the exact opposite of the way we took it apart. And same exact 
reason why I'm doing that um, is because when I'm doing the hot side, um, if I were to bump a wrench to a ground, I want to be very sure that the, that, that um, whole system is uh, not, I'm not completing a circuit. So basically what I'm saying is I want to make sure that the frame is not grounded if I bump a wrench to it. Good rule of thumb though, just try to not do that. Just try to not bump any metal. So here we go, tighten it up. And just another thing, as you're uh, transporting your battery, keep it upright so you, you don't want any leakage. All right, so the hot side is on. Let me put my little cover over it. All right, and now um, I'm just gonna pop the little safety cap off my, my ground side or my negative side. And put my screw through. I put a lock washer on this so that it just stays put. Snug it up with my fingers. And tighten it up. And as you're tightening it up, be cautious that you don't touch the uh, negative side of the battery while you're doing this. Because again, all those problems I talked about earlier you cause, and I think I suspect that's why they put these terminals at an angle because it's really unlikely that you would accidentally reach your wrench over to touch it. But uh, now the battery's in and you're all set. Hopefully your mower will start and run just as planned and uh, that's really all there is to it. So if you need to change your battery, just respect the positive. Don't ever connect the positive terminal to the frame or the you know, the fenders or anything metal. And as long as you sort of follow those rules, you should be in good shape. Thanks for watching.